Uh, I think uh, <laughs> I think I just need to go later because it takes like a second to go. But hello, everyone, and welcome to the Quarantine Diaries episode twenty-one. Uh, and wow. as always, we have my co-host Connor Hazelton. Connor, how's it going? Not too bad. It's okay. Great. And then, not everybody's favorite guest, but our most viewed guest, and most popular of- guest. Quarantine Diaries history. Uh, hello, back to the program, Curtis David. Thanks for having me, guys. I appreciate it. This is my third appearance, technically. So, yes. I mean, I did one with Andy as a bracket. That doesn't count, but I think that might be the second most viewed episode. So, not no, I, I, no, I saw John is technically two behind. His episode was big time, though. How is he still getting views? I don't know. I think Maybe he's going in every day. I don't, I don't hate the move. Um, before we get into today's, uh, main event, which we'll get into in a second, I have a quick question to ask you folks that I heard from another podcast I was listening to today. Great. The show Mixtape, if you will. It's a hypothetical. Let's say you're the Kansas City Chiefs. How many first round picks would it take for you to trade Mahomes? Four. I was going to say six. I think four. I would want four and a like part ownership of the team I'm trading them to, like a little share. I, I've never like quarterback. Uh, Russell Wilson's worth it. Agreed. Mahomes, I guess, is worth it, but like that's just a sweet offense, right? It's both. That's Tyreek Hill, and... It's a really fair rebuttal. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, it is. Four. Give me four first rounds. I think you could you could make up the production with four first rounders. Yeah. I guess I'll decrease mine to five, but the point is that there is a price on yeah. him for sure. It's not, like, untouchable, untouchable. So. I think right now he's pretty untouchable. Yeah. That's fine. I'm yeah, not going to argue. I'm it. not going to argue with that. I think he's probably the the most desirable quarterback in the league. I, for some reason, love Russell Wilson. But I love Russell Wilson. I'm. I think he's number two, like behind Pat. Aaron Rodgers sucks, right? Yes. Okay. So you don't even need to, ask, to tell that to Kyle. Yeah. No, he's been overrated for like ten years now. Now it's finally nice that everybody's catching. <clears throat> okay, but now that we got out of the, that out of the way. Why we brought Curtis on, The Office. Everyone's seen the show. Everyone loves the show. Yeah. We're talking The Office today, folks. So if you don't like it, one, you're wrong, and two, still listen anyways. <laughs> I, didn't tell you, I didn't tell you we were doing this, Kurt. We are oh, doing boy. a quick five-episode Office draft. You just draft your five favorite episodes. I was uh, told me that. Okay. I, I was going to say, I had, I had a power ranking up to 40 prepared, so... I didn't have anything prepared. <laughs> Don't worry, neither do I. Luckily, I'm taking this call from my home office set up, so I'll just pull I it right on up. Screen, too. <laughs> Hang on. All right. Office episode. And luckily, I know what all of them are by title. So Yeah, can... like I figured that you would, so that's why I didn't <clears throat> see anything. Yeah. I haven't watched in a few months, but there's usually cycles in my life where it's just like four or three month period. That's all I watch at night. All right. I'll be honest, I hope I don't get the first pick. Oh, man, the first pick's easy. Are we doing it right now? <laughs> yeah. Right. right. Wow. I'm power ranking them by, I guess, season and then overall. <laughs> I mean, I feel like episode, like seasons eight and nine, you don't I'm, really need I, I won't touch those. Don't worry. No, we were, we, me and Connor were talking about it. We're going to have to come back whenever it's like back to our Sunday only schedule where we can prepare for a whole week. Oh. With like all our notes and shit that we want to do. But... First pick in the draft goes to. What's that? Hurt dog. Oh boy. Okay. You you can do it. I think there's a clear one too. Second. Do pick. you? Yeah. Kyle. So the snake goes to the con man. All right, give me give me two seconds just to. Yeah, it's fine. You're on the clock. Need, I'm peeking through. I need to. Well, we can take as much time as you want to think and like look up stuff. 
they can always run through the fast. I forward. have, I have two that I think are one and two, but yes, I don't know which one to take. Um, all right, first pick. I get first pick. Yes. Yeah. All right, my first pick, and I've always long held this as my favorite episode, is season one, episode two, Diversity Day. Oh, which is when they put the post-its on their head of each other. Is that where he does the Chris Rock impression? And he does the Chris Rock impression, <laughs> yes. Yes. So I'm taking that because it's a personal favorite, and as I look through these, I'll it's probably find better one. ones. It's a very good one. No, I love that. Um, that was going to be one of my trivia questions. I hope it's not one of yours, but I scrapped it. I thought it was a little too hard. But what <laughs> ethnicity is Michael 2 fifteenths of? Native American. No, that's... Is it... Yeah. <laughs> nice, Connor. That's actually super impressive. I just guessed, to be honest with you. Oh, really? I love yeah. I love when he just racistly says Indian gibberish at Kelly. He's like, my gobbledygook? Try, try my cookie cookie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Try my cookie cookie. <laughs> this is terrible. Kyle, you are on the clock. All right. Uh, I, think th- I think this should have been for... <sighs> I think this is the most universally popular one. I hope that my real number one makes it back to me around the turn. So I'm getting dinner party here. Oh, damn. Uh, yeah, I thought, I thought that was a clear number one. It was. I just, like, I, like, punted on, like, taking notes and stuff. But, like, <laughs> I thought, one, the plasma TV when he's just like, hey, yeah, Aaron watch my TV for hours. That Jan's candles, Dwight showing up like in the middle of the episode with his with that lady, <laughs> so funny, and then just uh, the game of who can make every, their house guests more uncomfortable between. Oh them. yeah, <laughs> dinner parties. My, dinner party is a great pick. My favorite quote is when Michael tastes the wine. He's like, mm, "This has an oaky afterbirth." <laughs> <laughs> not, it, not even kidding. I do that like in bars, like in real life, and nobody finds it funny. A lot of people <laughs> find it weird. So I'm really glad that you appreciate that. So for my first pick, uh, I'm probably gonna. This is probably the popular one. I'm going with season five stress release. I yeah. Think. Yep. Which part? You get the, both yeah, episodes. The best, yeah. The, the best opening of all the offices. The yeah, best cold opener. I love how it takes some, like, <laughs> just in all the chaos, there's so many, like, funny things, like Angela's cat going up through the rafters and Oscar also going up there. Very, very funny, but my favorite <laughs> it takes Michael multiple projector throws to break the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm, we're going to include part two in episode two in, in that pick as well. You can't pick episode two because that's where they do the CPR training. Yeah. I, if if So Connor gets both those episodes? I think he should get both. Okay. If I had known that, I would have taken that over dinner party for Too sure. Bad. Too bad. But Still the draft. Um, that's the best one. And my next pick, I don't know if this will be popular amongst you folks, but it's – the uh, first episode of season four, Fun Run, where he hits Meredith with his I car. Had fun run. <laughs> I had Fun Run on my on my big board. And he eats the uh, Alfred, the uh, chicken Alfredo, right before he runs. <laughs> That's great. Andy like tapes up his nipples like super big, and they're just like poking out. You can it see. It's on nipple shape. And do you remember what uh, Fun Run Race for the Cure stood for? I forget what the acronym was. I know it was for rabies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Mike uh, Scott Pro Am Fun Run Celebrity Race for the Cure, something like that. Yeah. That was like a trivia question we had at an office trivia one night. <laughs> is that, you can't get the whole thing right. No. Nah. At like the start of the race, is that where Dwight fires his actual gun off? Yeah. yeah. I enjoy that. Kyle, your episode I- is. This one might be recency bias, but I just watched it last night, um, and it's Gay Witch Hunt. Damn it, that was my pick. (laughs) It's one of my absolute favorites whenever... One of the best conference room scenes is, like, whenever everybody's just talking about Oscar being gay, like, out in the open. And Dwight's like, I think all the gays in the office should identify themselves. (laughs) (laughs) 
that great. was that was gonna be my that was my other pick when I said one and two, but I forgot yep. about dinner party. And then obviously the gaydar at the end with Jim and Dwight. Oh, yeah. One of the best. Back That's when the- Jim, back when Jim was funny. Right, back then. And the kiss in general. That was completely unscripted from what I remember, if that's correct. <laughs> and just him kissing Oscar. Mm, okay, so now I got uh, I got two picks here. So we're going to go with... Uh, I have a pretty decent list now. Uh, this is... A lot of people hate this episode, but not me. Scott's Tots. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was going to be one of mine. It's unbelievably <laughs> funny. People are like, oh, I can't watch it. It's too awkward and cringy. It's like, the, it's grade A comedy from top to bottom. <laughs> and then they get up and they dance and they sing a song. And then he gives them laptop batteries. And it's just the funniest, like, top to bottom. I can't stop laughing. Dude, it's Stanley's laugh when he finds out about the kids graduating. That's that's the best part of the whole episode is the fact that Stanley kept that paper for ten years. <laughs> oh man, it's yeah, I, people think it's too awkward, and I'm like, I I can't imagine how. Oh, no, the, awkward, like, it's the fun. only time where I'm like too uncomfortable and like I avert my eyes is Phyllis's wedding. That one that one gets to me a little bit. <laughs> put a, put a pin in that one. Um, my second pick is basketball yeah good one basketball I changed my pick at the last minute because I think my next one will still be on the board so I've gone basketball because pretty much only because he singles Stanley out as the secret weapon and then (laughs) we get to see him dribble and I bought a t-shirt with Stanley dribbling on it and it's my favorite shirt Yes, I completely agree. Basketball is hysterical, but then like there's parts of it, which is why it's a mid tier pick. Is like the whole Roy and Jim dynamic. I'm yeah. just so. I, I I do think it's kind of funny when Jim like is actually kind of ball. Try hard. He, he like he like takes a wink at Pam in front of Roy. It feels good. <laughs> yeah, Wait, I, he, he throws him a bow, doesn't he? Oh yeah, yeah hell yeah! And then they uh, stop the game because yeah. that the old warehouse worker hit. Dwight in the nose, <laughs> and he says, "All right, well, whoever was winning wins." So it's, I love it. Dwight Dwight's face mask that episode. <laughs> it's me. Um, so I guess it's my pick. Um, I have a lot, like a lot of episodes written down. It's really tough to come up with what one is the best. Um. I think I'm going to go drug testing here whenever Dwight finds the weed in the parking lot. And, like, him him as the cop, like, my favorite little part of the whole episode is, like, he has the circle and chalk written on the ground. He's, like, simulating throwing the <laughs> like, over and over to get the trajectory right. That one's great. And then Jim flipping the interview on him in the conference room. Mm-hmm. Dwight, yeah. the whole, like, scene with him interviewing everybody is so great. Yeah, when he got... he. Puts a picture up for Creed and Creed <laughs> Northern Lights. The Northern cannabis. Lights. And, no, and Dwight's it's marijuana. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, mm. No, that is a very good one. All right, Kyle, you're probably going to be mad at me for doing this, but I'm getting it before you can. Uh, I'm taking a Benny Hanna Christmas. Yeah, I am. Uh, it's such a good one, though. It is. That That is one of my favorite scenes. It's your recap, but I'll fill in if you miss it. Uh, where they bring, where they go to Benihana, bring back the two waitresses, and they couldn't come apart, so he <laughs> puts the mark. Right <laughs> and Michael does. He's talking with like uh, Roy and I forget who else in the corner, and he's like talking about it, and he's like, you know how all waitresses look alike. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Uh, and for my next pick. This probably won't go over well, but I don't care. It's just it's a sucker pick playing to the playing to the crowd. I'm just taking the finale itself. I oh, like... okay. Damn. It is nice. That was gonna yeah. be my last pick, but ties, oh well. ties, a, ties a bow on everything. Michael comes back. Michael, you came. That's what she said. Kelly and Ryan run off together. It was a great, great finale. The the best. That's and, how you fucking done it, Game of Thrones. And that just proves 
it's not the last season that matters. It's the last episode. They yeah. had a dog shit last season, but still put a nice little bow on top. That's yeah. how you do it. All right. Um, this one, I really, it's tough, but I think I'm going to go the Michael Scott Paper Company. It's one of my oh, favorite sure. little Gosh. timelines of the whole thing. It has one of my favorite music moments of The Office, too. Whatever. Aaron, it's Aaron's first day, and Dwight and Andy are trying to impress her, and they play Take Me Home Country Roads. And it's actually sure. pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, that is that is such a great episode. And if I get to include like the story arc, which is like two, three episodes, if you want, it has like one of my favorite Michael moments, too, whenever he like owns David Wallace into getting his jobs back. Yeah. That little war between Dwight and him for those like two episodes is very funny too. And so. Idris Elba. Yes. Idris Elba's in that one too. It's great. <laughs> so he, he introduces himself as the boss and he's like he's like, uh, tell me about your wife. Where'd you work before you came here? <laughs> he's like <"Sadikoy> Steel. <laughs> <He's> like <laughs> Black people have such a beautiful, rich history of fancy names. <laughs> I love when they uh I like all the women in the office love Idris Elba, and then they cut to him for the interview. He's like, I know, I find pe- women find me very desirable. I like that was a little cocky move by him. Kelly walks up to him like three times, just like grade wash him. Charles, you wanted me. He wanted me. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good. <laughs> there are there are some some good cameos even before like Michael left. When you just get you know like Idris Elba or. Um, Whoever the actress's Gervais. name, who's that? Ricky Gervais is pretty. Ricky cool. Gervais, Colin Kathy and Bates. Kathy Bates. That's who I'm thinking of. Kathy Bates was in there for a while. Was Timothy Oliphant after? No, he was there because he was the okay. hot sales guy. Right for my. Um, the, that that Pam dated. Pam Schwartz. Pam. Do I get two picks to round it out here? We're doing five rounds. Yep, you do. These are my last two picks. Yep. Last two. All right, number four is going to be Goodbye Toby. Yes, oh, that was one of the ones I wanted. Specifically, mostly just for the song portion of it, where Michael <laughs> sings Goodbye Toby, Toby's Going Away. <laughs> and um, Holly thinks that Kevin is um, mentally challenged for the whole episode. <laughs> it, it, the, the show aged well for, like, if you have a sense of humor, but if you, it if you would did. never fly yeah. now. No way. <laughs> I love it, the uh, beginning of the episode where Michael gets into the office super early and just starts <laughs> dancing by himself because it's Toby's last day. It's <laughs> great episode. <laughs> the, the best little exchange between Holly and Kevin on him being retarded is, like, <laughs> she's like, he's out in his car, and she goes, you drive? And he goes, yeah, <laughs> this <is> my car. <laughs> <laughs> Good it's, for you. It's terrible. Did you guys like Holly? Mm. Mm. She made Michael happy, and that's all that matters. It was it was the only way to write Michael out. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine with it. And then, all right, my last pick, um, like legitimately, an emotional episode. Michael's last Dundies. Mm-hmm. Ah, ah, man, dude, that might be more emotional than his last episode. Uh, I, I, it, 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 it's an all time like. I don't want to say I cried, but like when they go back to the office and sing to the tune of Rent, it gets me. Kiss me pretty good. It's yeah, that that's more of a sad goodbye than like the candle moment with him and Holly. Yeah, I, and it's goodbye, Michael. Yeah, yeah. I agree. It's a better ending. All right, for my last one, I'm stuck between two. I'm stuck between three actually, but I think I'm gonna go the deposition here. Ah, uh, uh, it's peak Jan and Michael. Um, oh, Jan. <laughs> she's going for the lawsuit there and they read through michael's diary as part of like the evidence why D- jan's like part of the lawsuit like illegitimizing their relationship but michael's just so uncomfortable that whole episode it's fucking great and then it also ends in like a nice uplifting michael moment whenever like he realized like everybody's kind of been using him the whole time and he like makes it smooth it over with David Wallace at the end, and, like, that's why him and David Wallace are boys for, like, the rest of the show, actually. Yeah. yeah. My last... I'm stuck between two. You only get one here? I only get one here. 
I was going to take business ethics, um, where Meredith tells the entire office she's like sleeping with people. She's sleeping <laughs> with the one guy for Bruce. like this. Disca- Bruce. Bruce. Yeah. <laughs> Bruce. <laughs> However, I'm not going with that because I am choosing threat level midnight. Yeah. Good one. I'm glad nobody picked the greatest hits episode because that's just cheap. and That doesn't count. And it's not even that good. Like, I feel like it's way better to watch each episode. They're only 20 minutes. I don't need a greatest yeah. hits if I'm already watching The Office. Yeah. So to go over the draft... I thought that was a pretty good exercise we did. It it good exercise. We're gonna have to do like a so really, we're gonna have to do a really well researched like redo down the road of like a lot more episodes. All right, yeah, Curt- I, I have a full I have a full honorable mention list we can run and through it. at the end. Curtis got diversity today. Scott's tots basketball. Goodbye, Toby. Michael's last Dundies. This is a strong starting five. Kyle yeah, strong. Oh, dinner party, gay witch hunt, drug testing, Michael <laughs> Scott paper company, the deposition. <laughs> gay witch hunt is... Gay witch hunt I should have so taken gay witch hunt. <laughs> uh, con man, stress relief, fun run, a Benny Hanna Christmas, the finale, and threat level midnight. That's pretty ben- good. Benny Hanna Christmas is the best Christmas episode. I won't be taking many days. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I'd agree. Um, are we going to do the trivia uh, portion now? Let's, let's do some honorable mentions of episodes yeah. that just missed it. Because I was battling between two there. I'll, the- run, th- I'll run through my... We'll each run through them. No, no explanations needed if you know them, if you know them. Yeah, I had, I had Cafe Disco up there. Love yeah. that one. Yeah. Just one of the most fun episodes after Michael comes back. And then um, Email Surveillance. Very sneaky because you get the Michael improv class. See? Oh, shoot. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> That's good. Uh, I I had Launch Party as one of mine. Uh, is that, That's the one where Dwight and Michael go to New York, right? Yeah. yeah. That one kills me every I time. Him and Jim are on the way, and he's like, "Oh, we're joining. We're joining the party." He's like, "It's a dot. Like it's a dot com chat room." <laughs> Which that kills me. Um. What are you doing, Curtis? We can see you and hear you fine. Yeah. I don't know if we can hear you, but we can see you. He hasn't said anything in a while. No. Uh, um, sorry, this is just good. This just, this just makes for a better show. Um, I also had, uh, and this is just a personal one of mine, uh, the season seven Christmas episode where Holly comes back, just because that's the first one I... Um, like watched of the office yes that is a really good one especially because like that's when michael gets petty and throws her woody in the garbage. and throws him in the garbage her just texted me said you guys froze what's happening oh okay it's probably his internet because me and you are good uh let me try to do that there you go you should be back also I wanted to include two more since Curtis is having trouble right now. Prince Family Paper, really good one whenever they go after that small paper company. Oh, I love that. That's a great one. Uh, Yeah, everybody knows that one. The Fire with Ryan. One of the iconic scenes where they're staying in the parking lot. Curtis. I can't hear us. Can't either. You can see him, though, right, Kyle? I can't see him. I can't hear him. Let me call him back. I'll get him out of here. Let me get him in this. Ah, uh, fuck. There we go. What happened? I don't know. You I, tell us. I got lost. I don't know. I was not on Wi-Fi. Now I'm on Wi-Fi. Oh, so, okay. Blame, um, blame AT&T. The episodes um, I said were um, I forget the first I already forget the first one and um, the season seven Christmas episode where Holly comes back just because that's like the first one I really started watching The Office. Kyle had um, Prince Family Paper where they just <laughs> bulldoze that small business. That was good. <laughs> the sharks. <laughs> it's just like the infiltration of the business was. So good because he went in and he was like a lawyer and he knew everything about paper. And then Dwight came in and wanted a job. And then 
at the end when they're leaving, Dwight goes, oh, I'm sorry, I can't take the bus. Will you give me a ride home? And Michael just says, yes, thank you for having us. And they leave, but they weren't supposed to know each other. It's just the, the, the comedy is just too much. Do uh, you remember when Michael, when he quit Dunder Mifflin and called uh, Prince Family Paper and their answer, she was just them crying. <laughs> we're like, we're crying having- about being in business. Yeah. Great callback. <laughs> yeah. Do I get, okay, I'll give a couple of my honorable mentions, then mm-hmm. we can go to trivia. I've got uh, Beach Games. Good one. Very good yes. one. Uh, Survivor Man. Yes. Oh, I love Survivor Man. <laughs> And uh, murder, where there's been a murder in Savannah. <laughs> that one's a lot of fun. Yeah. When Creed just yeah. sprints out of the office. <laughs> <laughs> this also reminds me of when Dwight's like, R is the best menacing of sounds. That's why they call it murder, not muck talk. <laughs> mm-hmm. I do love from uh, Survivor Man when Jim is like planning, he's trying to plan just the one big birthday party, and hey, Creed yeah. like pulls aside for like this like shady deal of like a birthday cake. Yep. Who wants a cobbler? <laughs> yeah, he's cobbler. I don't like devil's food cake. <laughs> Creed's a low key, like one of the best characters. Mm-hmm. Who are your four favorite characters not named Michael? Uh, Kevin. Dwight. Creed. Dwight. Kevin Creed Dwight. Damn. It's tough because you want to say like Toby because he has the dynamic with Michael, but that's just piggybacking it because everybody hates Toby. Um, I don't know. Probably Andy, I guess. The Nard Dog. I love Andy. I love Andy yeah. until until his uh, the last season. He's kind of a douche. I'm yeah. Andy Dwight, um, Ryan, and uh, Daryl. Oh. Dude, I love Daryl's. Daryl's a good pick. So I hate funny. Ryan. Why, dude? He's Ryan's such a so funny. <laughs> I don't think Ryan's funny at all. <laughs> Kelly, you're great. I love Kelly. Kelly's my Bob favorite. Vance, Vance Refrigeration, Bob Vance. Vance Refrigeration. <laughs> <laughs> well, I work in Bob. Well, that's that is funny. That's He's got his moments. He does. Everybody has their moments, and it's it's probably a combination of your two: Dwight, Andy, Kevin, and Creed. Yeah. You could swap out Ryan for Kevin. I I'd be fine with that. All right, let's get into trivia now, folks. All right, okay. are we just on like all of our qu- Like I do my five questions, then like Curtis says yeah. and you do yours, Kyle. Yes. All okay. right. My, I feel like mine are fairly easy. Is it just like we shout out an answer if we know it? Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll, I'll yeah. tally up the scores. Raise raise your hands and have Connor call on you. Okay, Connor, you have to call who raised their hands first. Okay. If you get it wrong, it's negative one. Okay. And my, you're my first question, Gabe Lewis. What is his middle name? <laughs> Do you have any hints for us? It is a woman's name. I know that. I don't know. I don't Damn. Know. Damn, that's, that's a stumper. That's minus one for both of us. No, I think if I think if you guess wrong, if you don't know it, I think that's nothing. If you buzz in like first, so confident. Yeah. Um, the SATs. I'm going to know middle, when you say it. Gabe's middle name is Susan. <laughs> 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 That's a good question. That is a really good question. Uh, <laughs> my next question. When is Michael's birthday? Damn. Yeah, I don't know either. These are hard questions, Connor. It's Hang in on. March. Oh, well. No, I got nothing. Yeah. I was thinking it was going to be on one of the holidays. Yeah. March 15th. March 15th? Wow. Who knew? Um, I honestly, I just looked up office trivia questions. Uh, this These next good ones. this next one will probably be pretty hard too. Um, yeah. So this sticker is on Dwight's desk. Uh, it is the number one rated country western station in Scranton. What is Froggy ninety eight? Wrong. Oh, Kyle. Is it Y one hundred eight? It's Froggy one hundred one. Froggy one hundred one. <laughs> I said Froggy 98. And they got different FM stations. Oh, oh, oh. Kyle, commanding commanding lead. Uh, 
So <laughs> the episode, I th- I believe it's from season one, Michael has to fire someone, and he's going to fire Creed, but he doesn't. Kyle was first. Devin. Devlin. Devin, that's trash. Uh, and there's no way any of you, got, either of you guys get this one. I want to say, I'm not sure what season it's from. Don't challenge uh, me. So, <laughs> they're in the conference room, like, talking about rape or something. I be- No, it is rape. And Angela, sa- and Angela uses this to, pre- to prevent herself from getting rape, uh, like a rape whistle. Oh, man. I have no idea. I have it no is a, clue. It is a rape flute. <laughs> <laughs> when was that? I don't remember I that at all. I like five or six. They're, talk- they're talking about rape, and she uh, and she pulls out like a flute from her bag. And she's like, "This is my rape flute." <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, it's, oh man! So Look, I'm down negative one to zero. No, Kyle has one. He got Devin oh, right. That's bullshit. Yeah, that's stupid. All right, uh, fine. I'll make a comeback. Let me go. Uh, let me go second then, and then we'll see how you two shake out here. Okay, all right. You read your questions then, Kurt. I try to put these in order from easiest to hardest, but I don't know if that'll be the case. Okay. okay. All right. I gotta watch you guys to see who raises first. All right. Where does Dwight work after quitting Dunder Mifflin in season three? I got Kyle here. Staples. Ah, fuck. I should. Staples, give Kyle the point. Kyle gets a point. Cool. What was the name of the TV show Michael appeared on as a child? Oh, I don't know this. I know. Uh, Fundle Bundle. Fundle Bundle. And he says, I'm going to grow up and have a wife and a thousand kids. <laughs> a thousand <laughs> friends. <laughs> a thousand friends. <laughs> A thousand kids, so I have a thousand friends. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's like more awkward. It's tots, tots. <laughs> That's it's tots, tots type humor, and I laugh every single time. <laughs> That's what I feel bad for, Mom. Uh, uh, what was the corporate holiday gift to employees at the Moroccan Christmas party? That was uh, Kyle again. Good, because I'm not that confident. Uh, I believe it was Hello Kitty Backpacks. It was not Hello Kitty Backpacks. The Moroccan Christmas Party. That, I know I know the other one, though. Is it laptop covers? <laughs> no. It was Isn't not that... laptop. It was... For one Christmas they get those, though? Or did I make that up? I think they were. They might have been Hello Kitty laptop covers. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> I think you two just answered just the same picked thing. them out as part of yeah, the second so. authority training program. <laughs> yeah. That's any right. Second, any second guesses for no points? No. So the, the Moroccan Christmas party is right. when they had the intervention for Meredith being an alcoholic. <laughs> yeah. And the corporate gift was a shot glass. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's right. Phyllis, Phyllis pulls him aside and says yeah. that she doesn't think these are appropriate now. Yeah. <laughs> really good one. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So we've got what quarterback does Andy try to act out during charades at the dinner party? <laughs> I'm just picturing the charade scene in my head, but before that's tough. Connor, is that a hand? Yeah. Uh, is it Elway? No, it's not I'll Elway. Take it. I'll tell you guess then. It's Joe Montana. It is Joe Montana. Ah, fuck. It is Joe Montana. <laughs> he says the camel, the, the cigarettes, camel, and then the state above North Dakota or whatever. Yeah. My favorite one, though, is when Schwarzenegger. Schwarz- trying to trying to get them to guess... Um, uh, Nicole. Tom Cruise. Yeah, Tom Cruise. <laughs> and then Jim guesses it for the yeah. Dude, that's a, that's a super funny Jim moment, like a hysterical Jim moment, where it he just fun. guesses all, like all the like the answers for the previous questions. I I like that Jim. I, I miss him. Okay, we've got a last one here that I don't think anybody's gonna get, but if you do, good on you. Mm. What was the name of the chair model? In the magazine. 
Oh, man, I love that episode. It's so funny because he's so sad when he finds out she's dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is, my, this is my Reddit username. So this is one near and dear to my heart. Oh, man. I, I, don't, I know she has dark hair, and she's, like, really attractive. And I feel like it's not... European of some kind. But... Didn't she die in a car crash? Yeah. Well, I... I don't know. <laughs> Damn. Nothing. It was Deborah Shoshlevsky. Deborah Shoshlevsky. It sounded Eastern European. I wouldn't <laughs> that room. That's really funny. Oh, <laughs> Connor, give us give us the scores. I have minus two. Curtis yeah. has minus one. Kyle has three. All right, so I got to get four out of these five to tie them. Yep. You do. All right. I'm ready. Okay. In the Christmas party episode, which NFL player did Daryl trade in fantasy football for a defense? Oh, damn. Uh, got it. Curtis. Sean Alexander. Yes. It's a good one. Can you believe that? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's so stupid. By the way, Curtis is frozen. Like, his face is just stuck. No, you're, he's good on mine. Okay, so, honor system, let me know who gets their hand up first. Okay. Oh, okay. Do I need to call back in? What? No, you're fine. I can see you just fine, Kurt. I Kurt, you're see fine. fine. I can hear you're you good. fine. You're good. Yeah, but Kyle's recording it, so, Connor, it doesn't really matter what's on your screen. I don't no, know. but it still all records fine. It's just... Yeah, Kyle. Perfect. Okay. Fine. Do uh, I look good? Yep. So, in the Moroccan Christmas episode... What holiday do we find out that Michael celebrates privately? I know it. Hang on. Curtis knows it. Who was that? Wait, who was Connor, there first? My hands Connor were raised. raised his hand. I never raised his okay, hand. Connor. I know I'm going to be wrong, but I don't care. Uh, is it Kwanzaa? No. Nah. Uh, Curtis is going to guess Groundhog Day? Curtis is correct. Let's go. Curtis is common, man. Yep. These, these, these are good ones. Okay. Uh, in the convict episode, who do we find out this is the one person Michael trusts more than Jesus? Hang on. <laughs> Mine are mostly just quotes that are you're finishing them. It's a black person. Ah, oh, damn it. Curtis knows it. Samuel L. Jackson? No. Oh, that, that is a pop one this fall. That's a this. Um, I, I have no idea. I'm not even Apollo trying Apollo Creed. Apollo Creed. <laughs> Damn it. I knew it was because he said, name, name a white person. I'll name you a black person I trust. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Jim said, Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's good. All that's good stuff. All right. Uh, in the company picnic, which branch gets closed? Oh, no, wait. I, I pulled well, back. You, there's no take backs. Curtis is going to guess Buffalo. Curtis is correct. Yes. I was not going to guess Buffalo. It's super funny when they get, when they, <laughs> when they find out how they're getting closed. It's Michael and Holly singing in front of everyone. <laughs> Buddy. Playing who who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's funny. <laughs> oh that's fun. Wait, do you guys remember Holly's boyfriend's name? AJ. Mm -hmm. Bingo. Didn't care for him. No, not at all. Okay, last one this is my hardest one. Connor, uh, do I have a chance to tie? I think so. Well, I missed one, so that... Yeah, no, you'll if you get it, you'll be you'll lose by one. This 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 question's worth three points. Winner takes okay. all. That's fine. Uh, the promotion. What does Kevin write in the memo line of his wedding check to Jim and Pam? Curtis knows it. Oh, I know this too! Connor, oh, we'll say who, it at the same who time. Who got it first? I, I write this. We, probably I, Connor, I, but uh, I write I, I, this on every I, single wedding check that I give at a, at a wedding. Connor, you ready? Say it on three. <laughs> One. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Start I'll from start from three and count down. I'll probably butcher it, but I like know the general 
like you you go first. You just take the points here. You got it. Uh, to love's eternal glory. Yeah, nailed like it. Nailed it. I uh, so, write it on every single check that I so for great. <laughs> when I heard Kevin was on your list of favorite episode characters, I knew my hardest question was in trouble. But it's such <laughs> a great one. And then Pam freaks out because he puts Pam Halpert on, and it's like, oh, it's the first time I saw it. It's like, shut up, Pam. Oh, Pam. I have some, I have some other funny. What is Michael's online dating username? Little kid lover. <laughs> Little kid lover. <laughs> so they know where his priorities lie. <laughs> <laughs> Who brought Angela the picture of the babies playing trumpet? Was that Oscar? Oscar. Oscar has the problem with it. Oscar Toby buys it. Toby bought it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I low key really like Angela. She's pretty funny. She is funny. She's if Meredith wasn't hilarious, absolutely hilarious at the time, she'd probably be the best female character. I think it's Kelly. I think Kelly kills me. It's definitely not Pam. Aaron is actually really funny. I like Karen a lot, too. She's okay. I don't know. She's I'm... better than Pam. Pam sets a low bar for Jim. Phyllis is my least favorite. I don't like Phyllis at all. She uh, Phyllis, Phyllis is funny sometimes. Phyllis is good for Michael's picking, like, Michael telling her that he has a boner. And my my favorite, one of my favorite scenes of all time involves Dwight and Phyllis. Whenever she gets flashed in the parking lot, <laughs> and Dwight calls her phallus on accident, he's like, sorry, it's on the bridge. <laughs> I, I love, uh, speaking of Dwight and Phyllis, uh, the episode, I think it's the first one, season five, Weight Loss, where they're all trying to lose the weight, and he, he like, drives, there. he says he's going to take her on, like, that big sales, and, like, drops her off, like, five miles away, and makes her walk back. <laughs> yeah. They're like they're going around to ask everybody their weight goals. And Jim's like, I'm gonna lose 75 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Jim is very funny. He's underrated, I think. Jim's fine. Jim's. I, Jim's I would fine. like to include Jim in my top four. Going back, mm. I just mm, I, he was. I, I don't like Pam. That's that's exactly. It. Should have ended up with Karen. I liked Karen. Karen was hot. I thought, I thought the slutty intern girl who tried to seduce him at the end was hot too, and you should have gone for that. Kathy, was her name Kathy? Kathy. Kathy. She kind of looks oh, a forgotten. Right. Ooh, another cameo. Speaking of people, Jim has dated uh, Amy oh, Adams. Absolutely, it's a huge cameo. Oh, you Big got time. Amy Adams. I like Amy Adams, I'm and sure. obviously Todd Packer. He's a recurring character, but. He's actually in my top four. Todd Packer is he? fucking cool. Dude, he's hysterical. He has, he has a lot of great quotes. Just like him walking into a room is like, I would be fine letting out a Todd quote, Todd Packer quote forever. Like, it would just be funny. He's, uh, I love Todd Packer. What's up, he's, way, he's way funnier than Champ Khan, I'll tell you that much. That's a fact. Way funnier. <laughs> I, I wish they would have included more Todd Packer in the show. I wish he was a full time character or part of the main cast, oh, if you will. I think Robert California is super underrated too. At the end of the I, show, very. I, agree with you. I, I I watched the post Michael seasons when they happened live, and I remember them obviously like a little bit. But I rewatched them probably like six months ago, and they're not as bad as I thought. No, season nine is. Season eight, season eight's good. Season nine, mm, yeah, not. Nah, eh. No, but what do I? What do I fa- I love how like weird and out there Robert California is, and I might have said naked. I might have said it on an earlier podcast. One of my favorite quotes is like he has Jim yeah. Corn in the conference room, and he's like, "Jim, would you prefer a sex metaphor or a nature metaphor?" And it's like, "Oh God, <laughs> nature." And he's like, "So two animals are having sex," and he goes into the same metaphor. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. He is Farrell, cool. Will Ferrell had the best cameo. I thought Will Ferrell's episodes were so. Ah. Funny. What do you mean, ah? ah? Dude, they were great. I thought they were fine. The Angela Vickers? What's your deal? I thought they were I, fine. I think there's a lot of people who didn't watch the show live with the opinion that they love D'Angelo Vickers. 
But I remember watching it live and being supremely, like, disappointed in, like, this was the replacement for Michael Scott. Because they, they did a pretty good job of, like, misleading you that Will Ferrell was kind of taking over. And yeah. I was, I don't know about this. And then when you realize it's only a three-episode stint, it's way better. Yeah, all right, that's fair. Because he was, like, really bringing it for those three episodes, too. Right. Like, very, very Will ferrell mm -hmm. But if for an entire season, that wouldn't have worked. I'm Exactly. Okay, all right. Fair. As, uh, as Simmons calls it on the rewatchables, a uh, DR Miner's heat check. A what? Uh, you, you know the rewatchables pod that Simmons does? How yeah. they go through, like, all the, uh... They have, like, the one award called the Dion Waiters heat check for, like, the guy who's not in the <laughs> yes. that long. That's but, like, they're just really bringing it. That's Will Ferrell. Yeah. I agree with that. And it's, it's, a weird, it's a weird stretch of the office, but it, it really isn't that bad. No, like, it's, love, it's not. I love Gabe. Anytime Gabe's in the office. I like they're all making <laughs> I hate Gabe. Gabe. Gabe might be sneaky into my, like, top. Eight characters. <laughs> I, I'm kind of with you on that. Like a, a chow, a chow, <laughs> a chow. When he's interviewing Andy at the end of season seven, Andy's like talks about this stuff. He's like, "Shut <laughs> up, <laughs> son." Yes, exactly. That was he's, great. He's so, weird. I like him. The party where they watch Glee with Michael and him, just like butting yeah. heads the whole time, is absolutely brilliant. And then the costume party when Gabe dresses up as Lady Gaga and does the robot on stage. <laughs> so Wait, how did Gabe and Aaron start dating? Did they ever say that or did they just like announce at the beginning of – I think it was like season seven. Yeah. I think it was right, right at the start of it because they, they came back and they were like, what did I do this summer? And it was like a whole – everybody got their own turn and Dwight right. bought the building. And I literally just watched this episode. That's when Michael – Hired his nephew and then spanked him. <laughs> Wait, Kyle, what is his nephew's name? Because I know the answer. I just watched the episode. Hold on. Um, it's not Caleb. Not it's a one syllable name. I'm not sure. I haven't watched in a while. Luke. Luke. It is Luke. And Luke, Luke, they send Luke out for ice cream, and he comes back with one pint of soy and bagel chips. <laughs> <laughs> it's good stuff. <laughs> oh, man, The Office. What a great show. It's, it really is, I think, easily the best show ever. But No, yeah. I don't. Oh, yeah. I, yeah there's not much. Of, uh, my top three, I'd have, like, The Office, I'd say Entourage, and um, Breaking Bad. I'd say that's the top three for the con man. I'm watching The Sopranos. Still never and seen it. It's it's Me, locked either. up. It really is. I mean, I hear it's fucking great. I, I just need to, like, sit down and watch it. Now's the perfect time. Now, now's the time. Yeah. Although the it would, documentary stuff it would have been Game of Thrones if they ended correctly. Terrible. I didn't even think the last season was that awful until the I last hated season. it. Yeah, we we talk about this is like the fourth or fifth time we visited this <laughs> podcast, but goddamn. Man, yeah. Kurt, how's the weather in Hot Land? Is it hot? Um, it was it was low <laughs> low sixties today. It's it's been in the seventies though. Look at you. Oh, uh, do you like the Falcons, New Jersey? Speaking of Atlanta, hey, nope. Hey, yeah, they're they're trash. The, the, the Walmart Panthers, specials. The Panthers roast of calling them the meat machine jerseys was very funny and spot. Well, did you see the Falcons roast back at them? No. Nah. They uh they like resp they quoted their tweet with like that shitty uh like font that Cam Newton uses. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, which is pretty funny, and like used. Cam, like, always tweets something in whatever fucking language that is, and they just said that, and it was very funny. That is funny. So, I don't know. I don't really have a whole lot else planned. Do you guys have any other games? I don't. I think this is a productive office talk. Um, R.I.P. to the XFL. I think it went under. It did. That's why we're supporting the Dragons. So, I, I do think when this quarantine's over... We're going to have to have Curtis and John on for, like, a fully fleshed out, like, office ranking. Where episode. was John? What was John doing? Uh, he had personal matters to tend to. Unbelievable. 
Yep. But now I I think that's the game plan where we can do like basically a bracket length episode of The Office. I I'd say we're all experts enough oh, on episodes. Yeah, on just okay. like we'll have to do like a fully fleshed out like forty episode draft with all of us. I like, mean, really good. The Office's Twitter account they put out like a bracket of like the top forty episodes. We could just steal that. I think we can make it 64 episodes. That might be the first bracket I get off the bench to make. Oh, cool. Curtis, you um, make it, I'll buy it. Did you happen to see, or we wanted you on for last week's bracket, the video game character bracket. You would have been good for that. Yep. Uh, I might have been good for that. I, I, I was not able to. I was day drinking, so you didn't want uh, me on that. Um, you did. Master, Master Chief was the winner. That's oh, he thing. disagrees! He disagrees! <laughs> He's such a mark. The, give, me the, give me the final four real quick. Dude, the final four, the first time we had this, all four one seeds made it. It was Master um, Chief, Mario, Donkey Kong, Sonic. Yeah. Okay. Word Crash Bandicoot Fallout. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I was I was so mad at Connor. But uh, it doesn't uh, make sense in <laughs> retrospect that Donkey Kong's up there, but Man, PlayStation was not well represented in this draft. At That's all. tough. That's he tough. was he was a two seed and fell to DK in the Elite Eight, and it was my fault. I should have. I kept touting him as my guy, and I voted DK to the Final Four, <laughs> and it still fucking haunts me. Now, Kirsten, uh, I actually have to ask you this real quick. Kay. Andy says you were a PlayStation guy. Um, I was. I went PlayStation, Xbox. I kind of had a 360. I just stole blah belts in college, and then <laughs> I had a PS. Then I had a PS4. So I'm like both. Well, now I'm an Xbox One now. So I've done both. But I started my first system was a PlayStation, the original. Yes. Were you a big Spyro guy? No, I was not a big Spyro guy. Wow, fuck off. Because Andy was ripping on Andy was ripping on Spyro last ep- on the bracket pod. It was like upsetting me. No, Spyro wasn't. I also had a Dreamcast actually in between. Whatever that would have been in between PS, no, in between Xbox and if, Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. If I've ever met a Dreamcast person, it's for sure Curtis. <laughs> I, Dream, Dreamcast was awesome. Dreamcast was awesome. They, and 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 a fell two K, I think it was. NFL two K with Randy Moss on it. The, it, yep. or, it was like better graphics. Well, maybe not graphics, but like better movements than Madden is now. Yep. I missed Dreamcast. I wonder how much how much can you buy a Dreamcast for? Closest bid wins. Uh, I would say thirty one dollars. One fifty. Let's look at eBay. We're gonna go eBay. Okay. All right. Do you buy it now. Start the bidding. Okay. Oh, and it has to at- be working. And it has to. GameStop be has it for sixty four bucks. Yeah, eighty four ninety five with a controller here. It's kind. It's of... actually a lot cheaper than I thought. This oh. could be, this could be a thing. Sounds like the next next yeah. purchase. <laughs> you definitely can't like buy games for it. No, that, that, see, that's where they'll fuck you. The games will be like a hundred bucks each. NFL two K five Dreamcast. Yeah, might that... not have even made it to two K five. Nope, didn't even make it to two K five. NFL two K, just two thousand. Yep. See, that's where, that's where like having an N sixty four as an adult like doesn't really get you anywhere. Because we mentioned it before, Mario Party two is like over a hundred dollars. Um, but that I that's worth. I sold my Xbox three sixty like two months ago, and bought a refurb Xbox One from GameStop and financed the whole thing with my sale of NCAA fourteen for ninety five dollars on eBay. Holy shit. That People is. are crazy. They are. Crazy. NCAA 14 is going for 100 bucks. I mean, that's a fair price, I think. Yeah, they don't have any digital copies on Xbox, so I've looked everywhere. It's not in the store. It's crazy. Um, I would pay 100 bucks for Mario Party 2. That's that's a, that's just a great game. Well, I, I'm not even kidding when I say I think it's like $200, but I didn't <laughs> over I, I would I would pay for that. N64 is only good for like uh, Mario Kart. Super, Super Smash. Smash and Mario Super Kart. Super Smash is the best. I think Super Smash is like 40, 50 bucks, which isn't that bad. No, nah, that's, that's Mario Tennis is kind of expensive too. I 
I remember going through that whole list That's of good game. 64 games, and they're all just way more expensive than you'd think. How about Nintendo just falling off? The what happened? sucked. I mean, uh, they put out the Wii, and that's like, you know who, like, there's like weird people who love the Wii and Switch, though, still, and I don't trust them at all. We have a Wii in my living room and play Wii bowling. Um, but <laughs> I mean, that's just a fun still? game shoot shit. Yeah. We, we played probably like two weeks ago. I think I have a Wii, but I haven't played it in like 10 years. Yep. Yeah. I went out and bought Wii Sports like nine months ago, and it was like 40 bucks, but I thought it was very worth it. So Maybe. They- mm. it probably wasn't, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> we use it pretty well. The Switch, though, I've just never gotten behind that. Just, I don't really, I don't really get it. It's like four hundred bucks for a Game Boy slash worse Xbox three hundred and sixty. Game Boy Color was cool though. What? Oh, Game Boy Color is revolutionary. The lime green oh, one, yeah. fucking great. Uh, just random yeah. question before we go, guys. Just okay. thinking of sports, if they do ever come back, who would you take first in a fantasy football draft this year? Take one. No, I won't do that again. Probably McCaffrey, I guess. Without Cam. They have Teddy Cam the ball Cam 200 times. Yeah. They got Joe Brady. They didn't Cam last year, Kyle. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. It's, it's never... Think, like, nobody ever does first overall back-to-back. So I, I wouldn't take for, like, McCaffrey. I, yeah. I, I Jared took Jerry one last year, and it was terrible. That's why it's good this year. That's but also... Good. I Kamara's still should have won the league, except I benched Lamar Jackson in the semifinal. Oh, that's an all timer. I remember I remember hearing about that on the news. It was so bad. I lost to Connor by like seven points because I played Ryan Tannehill instead of Lamar Jackson. Yep. And Connor the, thing is, was the thing is, Ryan Tannehill like actually did pretty good. He had like twenty some points, but that was the game Lamar Jackson played the Jets and had like forty. <laughs> yeah. I figured Lamar would get pulled at halftime because they had already clinched the bye or whatever. Mm-hmm. But they didn't pull him. Made sense. And then, but then you also had Steelers D, and they fucked you against the Bills. Yeah, they let up a touchdown with like five minutes left that lost it for me. Shout out Josh Allen. That should have been my trophy. Do you have the trophy, Connor? Right here. It's broken, but I have it. Colick broke it. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> It's been broken. Unbelievable. I'll get it fixed. I still need to get it engraved. I still need to get it engraved, too. It hasn't been been engraved since 2015. (laughs) Paul. Paul just didn't get it engraved? No. Colic won 2016. Paul won twice. Then me. It hasn't been engraved the last four years. Well, let's see what the point. If I ever get my hands on it again, I'm buying a bigger, better trophy. See, I kind of a ring, a cup. I want a cup to drink out of, like a cup stuff. Oh, I, I think we we could do a cup. I'm down with that. Well, we'll discuss that at a later time. But boys, this was fun. Curtis, thanks again for coming on. We'll have you on again in the future. Kyle, I'll see you tomorrow for the bracket episode. Yes, sir. Fairly well. Good sod. Good sod, boys. Bye.